happy Monday everyone and it is lunch time I'm still at home we are having beautiful beautiful lunch and yes we are very naughty and having a little glass of wine because it's all Italian bureaucracy <laughs> Monday 12 o'clock this is what can give us strength to continue today Kotik <laughs> I'm on my way to the train station to catch the train to to go to the house I'm extremely late today because we had many things to do this morning and it was quite difficult I love this little square. Okay, hurry up, Ava, hurry up. <laughs> Passing by my favorite pasticceria in the town, I stopped to take this video because I do love the way Wisteria climbs around the entrance and the balcony. It is so beautiful and how colorful it looks with the yellow background of the building. And this is exactly what I want to do by the entrance door. But the question is, how do I make this place to, to plant wisteria? I'm extremely late at the house today. The morning was absolutely chaotic. I don't know what's happening with this universe, but everything goes wrong. And we have spent an enormous amount of time at the post office this morning trying to deal with some bureaucracy in Italy. After that, we needed a glass of wine with our lunch. Whew. But now everything is good. I'm at the house and I have only two hours to do something little and I thought it would be really nice if I can do one very small but important project. <sighs> yeah, we have still have lots of rubbish. We have sawdust, lots of it. And yeah, it's just everywhere. A lot and lots of it and I thought it would be really nice project for today um, if I can make a compost pit where I will put all the sawdust and the ashes from the chimney. I'm thinking about the place for composty pit Obviously, it will be in a part of garden we don't use and we won't be using for next year. So maybe somewhere here, but it also will depend how, how difficult it is to dig in. So let's start this day. I will change my clothes and I will um, go to the garden and find the place for the pig. It's not that easy to get in, to dig here, as it's mostly good blackberry roots and stones. Well, it's a good start. Hey, 
at least the view makes me happy and gives me energy to dig the hole. It is very energy consuming, but it's a little project and it has to be finished today. My happy moment has arrived. The first bucket of sawdust leaving this house. <laughs> and yes, we have those little things everywhere in the garden. <laughs> Not the most pleasant, pleasant creature, but I find them very cute. Okay, back to the sawdust. Dun, dun, da, dun. Dun, dun, da, dun. Dun, dun, da, dun. Da, da, dun, dun, da, dun. Bye, bye. Yeah. Oh, sorry. <laughs> Yay. First one is gone. I'm very happy about starting this project because this thing is just horrible. Very interesting. I have cleared half of the chimney dirt and at the bottom, in all the ashes and dirt, we have lots and lots of nails. So many. I'm wondering what they were burning here. It's full of old nails and some metal parts. These are, they, they look like hinges for all doors or windows. This is very strange. Oh, I have to put those aside because we don't want nails in the garden. Any idea why would someone burn? Well, a door, I suppose. Yeah. <laughs> this is very, very interesting. Looks much, much better already. <laughs> the project has been started, this is good. Still lots to do, but enough for today. Beautiful stone fireplace that has been painted <laughs> and needs to be, be uncovered. And we'll bring it back to its beauty. Also, we have to think what we're gonna do with this wooden addition to it because this detail is beautiful it's stone but then i don't well actually actually this is yeah i think i think we just get rid of this wooden addition and then we leave the stone because we have enough as a fireplace shelf so yeah how exciting! Ah, oh, still the smell is horrible, <laughs> but it will be better once we clean the chimney flue. Okay, I think I will just spend the last half an hour just thinking about the upper terrace and how it feels, this space, what we can do there. 
and then I will go home because <laughs> it's already time to go home. I have done a little bit of thinking and dreaming about the garden and it seems very reasonable to do as less as we can as we don't have much budget or time and we have quite a sloppy piece of land here so I think about making a small retaining wall here around this curve and then it will be bigger here because we will dig out this piece to level to level it so we can have a um, table here and then that part with will will be sloppy as it is and we will just level this part here like that and then we can have all the flowers and bushes here pergola here espalier fruit trees here and flowers dining table for six people and barbecue area here in the corner and it will be a wall here and then stairs here to to enter the barbecue corner just three little steps to go to upper level and then from here we will be able to walk to to the pergola and enjoy the fruit trees here also access to the wall if we need to do some uh, maintenance and just herbs and rosemary lavender around the wall and then this part of the garden will be leveled which is still a lot to do yeah this is how it looks like from the other side of the garden the view is much better here and yeah this level will be with trees flowers little path here very abundant and little steps here one level there for barbecue area and then this part dig it out to level with this point so we will be able to have um, a little dining table table and here wall here so we can stay on the highest point of the garden and see the view and listen to the stream the stream is much calmer now it was very loud three days ago but still very pretty, pretty sound. A fast ferry arriving <laughs> to the village. That means I have to go to catch the train. It is almost flying. I have just noticed that someone stole the bell. Hmm, this is very interesting. No bell. 
and it was definitely cut off the wire just cut off wow Now I'm looking at all the terraces we have in the neighborhood and the landscapes in search of ideas for the garden. Hmm. It's a very quiet evening today. Also here in the town, I have noticed this little terrace, which is exactly what I want, more or less. I will show you from, from down here. It is almost what we need for pergola. Little terrace like that, and then we can still have steep terraces that and it is very nice and the view from here is so beautiful Hello! Oh, I was swimming in the lake! Oh, I was swimming today! <laughs> Chitty! Chitty! <laughs> Who was swimming in the lake, huh? Who was swimming in the lake? Chitty! Good girl! Good girl! Back home, I'm having quiet time on my balcony getting for some inspiration for the house I love this one and this one as well the most delicious dinner ever with the Sicilian no, Sicilian, Sicilian cheese which is a little gift from our neighbor and little gold cheese which we bought today at the supermarket some sausage and a marmalade Sherry <laughs> are you begging for food? are you allowed to eat potato chips? Huh? I don't think so Sherry I don't think so <gasps> oh, naughty you are naughty <laughs> and after all the home chores I have to do I have my quiet time editing the video and having my dinner and this is a very comforting food for me this is what I usually have when I feel tired and you Shady? are you expecting to have something from the stray? No, there is no way I'm get, giving you something. No, 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 I'm not. Uh, no, you know me, Sherry, and I'm very strict. You know that. Honestly, I'm very strict with her. But I wanted to say uh, thank you for watching all the videos and especially thank you for all of you who joined Patreon. It's almost 30 people, I think. It's amazing. Tomorrow's video will be only on Patreon. And then I'm back on YouTube. 
and tomorrow is a very difficult day for me because I have a big event coming and I will be working as a photographer all day long. I will try to film all the beautiful moments from tomorrow and show you. So yeah, see you tomorrow. Bye!